Absentee and early ballots have been pouring in by the millions. That is record numbers headed to the polls in pre-election voting. It's going to be a big deal tomorrow. See what happens. So far, Democrats have outnumbered Republicans. But with just hours left, no battleground state was left unattended, each candidate making a final plea to get out the vote. You don't need to boo. You just need... You, you just need to vote. Get your neighbors to the poll. I need your vote. In Florida, polls show a statistical deadlock for the state's 27 electoral votes. I, I think that Barack Obama is the win in our state because uh, Floridians uh, need the change that Barack Obama is offering. We've got to get every Republican to the polls tomorrow and uh, make sure that we win this state for John McCain and the Republican Party. In New York, absentee ballots came in one by one. Traditionally Democratic, the state has 31 electoral votes. I'm going to go with my state on this one, and it's Obama. And continuing their 60-year tradition, the 115 residents of Dixville Notch and Hart's location in New Hampshire will be the first to cast their votes on Election Day beginning at midnight. Out of the 19 registered voters for tonight, um, which there could possibly be some more, uh, there are 11 undecided. Meanwhile, preparations are underway in Chicago and Arizona. Obama will watch the results come in from his home. That's after a marathon campaign over 21 months and across 49 states. McCain will be in Arizona to learn the outcome. This is his second try for the White House. He lost the battle for the GOP nomination in 2000. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.